Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Feature Soldier on the PC exclusive that is named Hardcore Difficulty. And this is Mission 04. It's itself entitled um, Tiger Dust, a unique name for a chapter. So uh, these guys here, you want to assign three guys to kill, and then I'm going to... Okay, so let me just walk you through how you, how you do this, just in case. So you want to tag tag this guy, zoom in if you need to, like I'm doing, uh, tag that guy, zoom in, tag this guy, and then recall the drone by pressing the left bumper, and then walk on to this guy. And it's really nice because it auto, it locks on the target for you as long as you're in the diamond, which then turns into a square. Uh, but before I forget, I love the titles of these chapters. If you ever watched a, a television show called The Film Nikita, they had, um, it was interesting because every season that they would do, like season one, the titles would be one word. Season two, the titles would be two words. Season three, three words. And it, I think it went up to five seasons. So I, I always found that really unique. And it, it, it's, this game's doing the same thing, except that every chapter is two, just two words. But, Anyway, so you could spot the edit up here if you want to. I think it's been referred to as quick scoping, <laughs> but that doesn't really apply to me since I never played multiplayer, and I never will, ever. So it was in that little uh, zooming in process that I put the edit in there for you guys. So this part here, we're again going by this, the game's logic system of dispatching um, the higher up enemies first, Although, if you want to do a synchronized kill like I'm doing here, you want the drone out. So there's, let's see, there's these, I think there's just three guys here that you need to get. And then I'm going to climb on top of the ladder and take out the remaining five guys. But you have to do it strategically. So, no, no reason to recall the drone right there. You don't have to do it. I see the drone hovering in the air, actually. But once those three enemies are killed, head over here. And whenever you know you doubt if you're going to be spotted, just crouch. It's you know you, you just don't want to risk it, especially when you've made a lot of good progress. So climb the ladder here. There's there's time enough to hit it. And then what you need to do is hit the guy on the very left because there's five enemies and we can only kill four at one time. So put a bullet right in between his shoulder blades or wherever the hell you want to really. And then there's just four guys left, and then you know how to do that. Because so they just instructed you on how to do that. But if you're here for hardcore difficulty, you don't need my instruction, probably. Um, you probably might need some of my tips and strategies, which I'm giving to you for free, practically. Um, people think that watching videos on YouTube is free, and it's not, actually, because you're sacrificing your time to watch people's ads, unless you put ad block on. But nothing is free in life. You're always sacrificing money or your time or you know any any other thing so see how it's locking on beautiful this game is like poetry in motion so that whole area is is clear you do get a checkpoint after the first kill but you shouldn't really need one and then we'll use the drone the 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 air drone that you could actually land and we're going to put it down here but in the next chapter, that will if you're looking for the rant video, that's going to be the rant video in which I completely crucify first-person gaming. I haven't done it yet. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say that it shouldn't exist because in the first person, people that you know don't like third persons, they can't say that you know third-person shooters shouldn't exist. I'm just saying I want a, a balance between the two and there's not even the remotest even the barest semblance of a balance so when you come down here there's two guys to kill and you can get your see this one and then this one and for some reason I was able to get the challenge requirement fulfilled right there this part's pretty damn tough you don't get a checkpoint for a long time and there's one guy up here you need to kill. That guy. 
you could see them through the dust. And then there is some enemies t up and to the left. Although, this is weird. I don't like it either because, like, it says engage, and it will always say engage, no matter what you do, as stealthy as you want to do it. But this is essentially a street brawl. Like, what's that one movie? With, um, I don't know. Heat? I think it's called Heat. But I... I don't watch many movies. I've, you know, I'm not a movie type of person. I used to always watch movies. In fact, I used to watch old movies exclusively. Like I was I actually was watching some of the Philadelphia story the other night that that was on Turner Classic Movies. Although I w I've always thought that the color colorized version of that movie is actually more enjoyable to watch because there's a lot of references to to color and hair in that movie if you've ever seen it with Cary Grant. James Stewart, Catherine Hepburn, a phenomenal cast and a, one of the finest movies I've ever seen. So, um, what you're, what are you going to experience over here? Probably a lot of um, teammates falling down in combat. In fact, there was one point where I ran way back and grabbed a fallen comrade. That was an accident right there. Probably that was too. But it's hard to do a guide twice, you guys. But I'm, I'm sticking with it because I, I had the same feelings when I was doing The Last of Us on Grounded because I had already played through Survivor, you know. And it's a novelty dif difficulty setting, and so is this one. So I'm, I'm sticking with it. So just be be very, very careful up here. Hang back as far as you can. And then... Um, what was there? There's a guy with a rocket launcher up here. And the thing is, most enemies don't rush you. So when you see people running at you, they're most likely not enemies. They're these civilians up here. And I think if you kill two or more civilians in, in, in any mission, you're, it's an automatic failure. But it's, it's not... Well, there's one where I was going to say it's not hard to not hit them, but there I go hitting one. So, this guy kept falling down. But this game is a very immersive experience because you're, you're constantly given, given orders while you're in combat. There's constantly conversation going on, banter, and it's just a fantastic game. I wasn't there when it was released, but I think I played it like a year after it came out. Two years, maybe. So as I glance up here, I'm thinking to myself, is that like a, a y, some kind of a sight line? But it's not. It's another enemy. I mean, not, it's not an enemy. What am I saying? It's a, it's a fucking telephone line. So I'm healing everybody here. I assume if your teammates are all fallen in combat, you fail. I haven't had that happen to me yet, but I have had have had this happen to me over here. Watch this, where I think this guy shot shot a rocket at me, and the game gives you a second chance. No, I killed him. Something else, probably a f flashbang, where the where the game knocks you on your feet, and it's right over here somewhere actually. Now, I'm not really sure about these tanks here. You could probably blow them up, but if enemies aren't around, it's it's a waste of ammo in my opinion. Okay, so this is the guy we need to take care of. Promptly put him down. And we're, we're, moving, we're moving up to, to the street, actually, where the, the car is that has the, the drug dealers supposedly at. But there's going to be a bomb in the car. Okay, so at some point I do get knocked down by a blast, and I know it was on this take because I didn't expect to survive. But yeah, it's hard to do. It's hard. To, it's hard to redo guides. It's hard to do. It's hard to publish stuff when you know that nobody 
hardly is watching, which is always the case with my channel. Even if I played a brand new game, it's it's not really that. Yeah, this right here. I don't I don't know what happened to be honest, but the game gave me a second chance to crawl to safety. Most of the problem is most of the problem is people cannot find you, and hell. I, I don't even go looking for other people too, so I can't blame people for not going out of their way to look for me. But if I, I did find somebody that I liked, I would definitely follow and subscribe to them. Okay, so we got to pick up the ghost lead again here because he's falling down. And a couple more, yeah, everybody's everybody's fallen down. So it looks like you can still live and not get the fail status, even if everybody happens to be dead except you. But yeah, if there were any new games that were actually coming out, I would I would definitely cover them. I mean, The Evil Within was, uh, you know, it came and went. Maybe there's some downloadable content for it coming, and I'll definitely cover that. But I'm just sick of all these these new releases that come out, like Advanced Warfare, Far Cry 4. What else is there? some other game too like alien isolation uh, isolation not a single third person game maybe there is one but anyway so I, I don't know it's just it's sick it's really sickening and I think we could all say that we're waiting for God of War 4 and it's high time that they at least, you know, say say when it's going to come out. It's ridiculous. So there's there's no threat at this point, although when you're in the middle of things like this, you have no idea what's going to happen and you don't want to risk anything because all of this is on the same checkpoint until about right over here they'll they'll give you a checkpoint and it's a good checkpoint that's a good well placed checkpoint right there so now we've got a couple of, of turrets on top of those tanks suppressing us so the best thing to do actually is just delegate authority or delegate responsibility few teammates by hovering over the the analog clicking in the right bumper and having them do the work but just be careful as you come over here because there's another truck and I believe you're only re responsible for killing one of the trucks so right now I'm gonna have them them kill him for me unless oh this is where the guy came at me and I melee him you never expect to survive anything like that, but when it happens, you feel like a badass, but you know you're you're really pushing your limits. Okay, so this is where I kept switching. I got really paranoid here. I wanted I had the wrong gun on, and I'm blind firing. And fortunately, I got a couple of crazy kills here, which is fine in my book. Okay, so you only have to kill that tank right there, or kill it, just, just, you know, take it out. And this item, the weapon box doesn't replenish your ammo, so we're not going to pick anything up out of there. Now, this I did on my first try, so that should give you some hope. I think I might have been complaining about this on my last run, but there's only one sequence. I think the sequence that I had confused was, was a sequence from Gra 2. I believe that was the sequence. Older games tend to be a lot less lenient when it comes to, to giving the player checkpoints if the game even 
is new enough to have a checkpoint in it. So, do not hit the vehicle in the middle there where the triangle is because you'll fail. We need to capture her alive. And, what is it? Oh, here. Trying to take out the enemy RPG before your chopper gets shot. So, I managed to do that, but I'm not. Enemy RPG? I don't know what they're talking about there. But this is the, the little boss of this section here. And as long as you just, you know, keep the aimer pointed in its relative vicinity, you should be able to destroy it without it destroying you. And then once you get the white triangle, that means it's dead. I love the white triangles in games like this. They're really good. So this next section was a little bit tough for me, actually. Just due to the sheer nature of how much damage the bullets do to you, which is a significant amount of damage, and you can just be killed before you even realize, you know, that all this razor hail all of a sudden is, is killing me. Although it's not coming from the air, it's coming from a horizontal place. So when you start this skirmish, there will be a chance to fill up your your ammunition and uh, partially fill it up rather because I had two frag grenades and it only gave me one back so it looks like it's somewhat giving you your ammo back so when you get over here you're gonna have some enemies coming out of uh, some enemy, so enemy uh, transport vehicles and then when you get over here these two enemies will hop out so you want to quickly get on them, but just remember that they could take you out in a, in a fraction of a second. And have your enemies destroy the, uh, have your, excuse me, have your allies destroy the tanks for you. And, and then after that it's just killing everybody who else has run around. Your teammates do a good job in this game, I was going to address that. I guess I'll do it now. Your teammates do a relatively good job at dispatching enemies for you so the job is not all yours the responsibility doesn't always fall on you to do everything which is good so that section is clear and this chapter is done we'll run over to the uh, the car and I will see you in uh, Silent Talon